how many art lessons could you do with just a single Bic ballpoint pen? You could have students draw a comic, a self-portrait. You could give them the opportunity to do some sort of pattern texture-based assignment. You could teach them about abstract art. You could teach them about realistic cross-hatching for shading. You could talk to them about cartoons. With paper and the most basic of materials, there's a lot you can do. It makes me wonder when we spend our time trying to figure out how to implement technology into the art classroom. How can we take advantage of the fact that students have iPads and Chromebooks? How can we teach them digital art making techniques that will propel them into the modern world? If you have a class that all has iPads, teach them digital art. I don't see a problem with that. I don't, it's not a bad thing. But I think it's missing the point to try to make, try to fix the problem of technological integration into art. The kids who are naturally creative can naturally figure out how to implement what they're learning in art class into the digital programs. It's easy and accessible once you have the technology. On the other hand, what can you do to inspire the kids who struggle to think creatively with just the most minimal materials? If you spend your time trying to teach them masterful techniques, the latest technological trend, they're ultimately going to reach a point where the rubber hits the road and their mind hasn't been changed about their own creative potential. I'd much rather see an art classroom where the students are given the barest materials but taught that they are capable of creativity, that they are innately creative. And that can lead them to excel when they get more advanced materials, when they have the opportunity to have those digital experiences. And maybe I'm making a mistake to assume that every kid will have access to those. But the kids that don't need to have that opportunity to know how to be simply creative even more. Because if you know that this is your one chance to either learn to be creative or learn to make digital art, the creativity is something you can keep using for the rest of your life. And the digital art is something that is contingent on the circumstances around you. And so I don't think that's a full answer of if we should integrate technology into the classroom or how the best way to do it is. But it is a feeling that I have that we need to be cautious about how we do it because we could be putting all of our focus on the wrong thing and missing a real calling with the students.